guys how you doing so today I'm going to be talking about the Lord prepares a way for you so I have three scriptures that are talking about this awesome and powerful subject the first scripture I'd like to share with you guys is John 18 verse 16 but Peter stood outside of the door and the other disciple who was known to the high priest came back spoke to the servant girl who was on duty there and brought Peter in sometimes we feel like we're scared, you know, and sometimes we think that there, there's too big a problem that God can't take care of it and that he won't prepare, he won't take us through it. Like this is our end and this is our final stop. That's what Peter thought. He thought that, that it was all over and that, that his whole walk with Christ had ended. And that's why he thought that he had to hide who he was in order to stay alive. But we don't have to be scared because we know that God is with us and we know that God is stronger than any devil. And a lot of times we're shy and we don't know how to preach to people or to share the word of the Lord with them. God will give us the words. Don't worry about if... The, your thing will fail because it won't it won't fail in God's eyes it may fail in other people's eyes but God will always prepare you and he will always make a way for you he's a good good God and he'll take you to where you need to go don't worry about where you want to go because God will take you where you need to go and he'll make you the person that you already are don't be like other people, because when you do, you fail miserably. Trust me, I, I recently had this problem. You can't be hardcore like everyone else, and you can't be a strong, like, you can't walk their paths. You can only walk the path that Jesus has for you. Just remember that. Alright, second scripture, John 8, verse 46. Did any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? When Jesus tells us the truth, it is the whole truth. And we cannot prove him guilty of sin. He's been good to us. All of this crap that we're doing, and that deserves punishment, but God has been gracious to us, and he's been merciful and loving. Even though how many times we sin. He always forgives us. He is not guilty of sin. Even though people try to prove that he is, he is not. He is sinless. He is beautiful. And he's given us blessing after blessing. And we cannot outgive him. We can give 10%, but he can give us 90%. God is amazing. And your final destination, your life that's been planned out, that's going to lead you to an awesome future. More awesome than you could possibly imagine. God is a good, good father. He is preparing the way for you. And he will take you to your final destination. But we got to decide which path to take there. The path that we follow God to that place or the path where we just decide for ourselves. We don't even have to decide for ourselves. God decides for us. God is planning our road, planning our way. Just remember that. God will never lie to you. God will always tell you the truth, whether it be good or whether it be bad. And he will always forgive you no matter what. Just remember that. All right third and final scripture John 14 verse 6 Jesus replied I am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me in our lives where we need Jesus most and where we need God he will always be there he is the way he is the only way to where we are going he's the only way to heaven and he's the only way to our successes Sure, there may be challenges along the way, but God will always get us through it. 
like he is always. This problem may be big and you weren't expecting it to be this big. And you may have been not used to uh, so much trouble in your life. Maybe you're just starting out with your walk. But God understands and he says that he will be by your side every step of the way of your journey. Strengthening you, empowering you. He prepares the way for you. And he knows what trials you'll face this year. And he knows what blessings will come your way this year. 2018 is going to be an eventful year and it's also going to be an awesome year. 2017 was yesterday. 2018 is today. God knows. God is powerful and God is mighty. He's amazing. God's got this. You don't even have to think about where you'll go because God has already got it in his mind. And he's going to put it in your mind where to go. He's just amazing, guys. I cannot tell you how amazing he is. Just trust in him. Alright, so guys, I hope you got something out of this. I'm going to close in prayer. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Lord. Please, Lord, continue to prepare the way for them, Lord. Show them that you have. And please, Lord, continue to take them down that way. And believers that will come along that way, Lord, I just pray that you would give them the words to speak, Lord, to make disciples, Lord. Lord, this is not about us. This is about you, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, for all my sins, Lord. Please forgive me. And please, Lord, let Ethanio's plan is simple be an inspiration to them let you please Lord work through my videos Lord please Lord and show me your grace every day Lord also please Lord let them know that they don't have to be like everyone else and they don't have to decide where to go because you've already got their life planned out Lord you know what people was in their life and you know what people will be taken out Lord I know that you've got an awesome plan for them I praise you in your name amen Alright, so guys, remember, I'm just playing simple, but he is not. He is beautiful, and he's lovely, and he is glorious. And he's got an awesome plan for you. He's prepared the way, and he's going to take you down it. Just remember that. Now when times get tough, praise God in the storm. Praise him through every storm in 2018. Because he deserves it. He will get you past those storms. See you guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. God bless. And um, you guys are awesome. See ya.